Welcome to the Schluter shower system installation video. With the revolutionary Schluter Curdy drain and Schluter Curdy waterproofing membrane as its foundation, the integrated Schluter shower system ensures success and makes the installation of a shower easier than ever. Now the installer has the option to build a shower receptor with or without a mortar bed. The pre-sloped Schluter Curdy tray, which is made of lightweight expanded polystyrene, is specifically designed to accept the Curdy drain and Curdy waterproofing membrane, resulting in a completely watertight shower assembly. Constructing a mortar-free shower receptor begins with a Curdy shower tray. Using the Curdy shower tray as a template to locate the correct position for the drain, a hole is cut in the substrate. Dry set mortar is applied to the substrate using a 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square or U notch trowel. The floor must be level. Any leveling must be done prior to placing the tray. The Curdy shower tray is solidly embedded into the mortar. Check the underside of the tray to ensure that full coverage is achieved. The Schluter Curdy shower drain can now be used when job conditions require the setting of a Schluter Curdy drain by a plumber prior to the installation of the Schluter Curdy shower tray. The detachable center section can be removed and placed below the bonding flange to dry fit the Curdy drain to the appropriate height. To install the Curdy shower tray after the drain has been installed, apply sufficient thin set mortar below the drain flange and to the top and bottom of the detached center section. Before sliding into place below the drain to ensure solid and uniform support of the bonding flange. Please note, Schluter Systems recommends installing the Schluter Curdy shower tray prior to the setting of the Curdy drain whenever possible. This method affords the installer greater control over the final position of the drain and makes it easier to obtain full support under the bonding flange. The 
the curdy shower tray is solidly embedded into the mortar. The inside vertical corners are sealed using Schluter Curdy Band and Schluter Curdy Carrick inside and outside corners. The type of bonding mortar used to apply Schluter Curdy must be suitable for the substrate. The mortar is applied using a 1 quarter by 3 16 inch V notch trowel. Curdy band is firmly embedded into the mortar, ensuring that there is 100% coverage with no air pockets, while at the same time ensuring that there is no excess mortar underneath the curdy band. This will prevent any discrepancies in the flatness of the setting plane. Floor wall connections are constructed in the same manner using Schluter Curdy band or cut sections of Schluter Curdy.
The walls are protected from water and water vapor penetration with Schluter Curdy. Schluter Curdy is a pliable waterproof membrane and vapor retarder made of polyethylene that is covered on both sides with fleece webbing. In order to maintain the integrity of the waterproofing membrane, watertight seams are constructed by overlapping curdy by two inches, or by sealing abutted seams with curdy band. Press curdy fully into the mortar applying pressure to the membrane with the flat side of the trowel to ensure proper adhesion and to remove air pockets. Controlling water vapor diffusion in today's construction environment is vitally important. If vapor is allowed to enter the wall cavity, it can condense, resulting in mold growth and damage to the structure. The Schluter Curdy Drain is ready to install. Schluter Curdy Drain includes a technical data sheet, inside and outside Curdy Care Rec corners, curb connections, installation CD, and a template. If there's access to the plumbing from below and the waste line can be connected after installing Curdy Drain, apply dry set mortar to the entire shower tray surface using a 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, making sure to completely fill the step in the shower tray. The Curdy Drain is pressed firmly into the dry set mortar, ensuring full support of the bonding flange. It is important to note that if there is no access to the plumbing from below and the drain must be connected at the same time it is installed, connect and install the drain prior to applying mortar over the entire shower tray surface. Additional mortar is applied to the top of the fleeced bonding flange. Although the Curdy shower tray is waterproof, it must be protected against vapor penetration with the Curdy membrane. Schluter Curdy is embedded into the mortar and worked into the entire surface of the tray to ensure proper adhesion and to remove air pockets. Be sure the connection between Schluter Curdy and Curdy Drain is secure and watertight. The Curdy shower curb is ready to install. The Curdy shower curb is cut to length with a handsaw. Dry set mortar is applied to the floor and to the edge of the shower tray using a 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch square or U-notch trowel. The curdy curb is pressed firmly into place. The curb wall junction is sealed using Schluter Curdy Carrick inside and outside corners.
sealing the curb and shower floor with Schluter Curdy completes the process. The assembly is now waterproof, vapor tight, and ready for tiling. Let's see how a two-walled shower is constructed using two curdy curbs. The walls can be waterproofed at any time during the construction process. Here the walls were waterproofed prior to the installation of the curdy shower tray. The curdy shower tray is solidly embedded in the mortar. Schluter Curdy band is applied at the floor wall transitions. Thin set is applied using a 1 quarter inch by 3 sixth inch inch V notch trowel. After Curdy Curec has been applied to the inside corner, the vertical inside corner is sealed with Curdy band. Dry set mortar is applied to the floor. The edge of the shower tray. And the wall using a one quarter inch by three eighths inch square or U notch trowel. The curb is pressed firmly into place. The process is repeated. Cut pieces of curdy and curdy band are used to seam curb connections. Curdy is applied to the curbs. The curdy drain is pressed firmly into the dry set mortar, ensuring full support of the bonding flange.
Additional mortar is applied to the top of the fleeced bonding flange. Schluter Curdy is embedded into the mortar and worked into the entire surface of the tray to ensure proper adhesion and to remove air pockets. Be sure the connection between Schluter Curdy and Curdy Drain is secure and watertight. This assembly is waterproof, vapor tight, and ready for tiling. To eliminate the use of sealant, Schluter Systems offers a complete line of maintenance-free corner movement profiles designed to remain permanently flexible. The Schluter Dial-X HKW was chosen for this project. Dial-X HKW is a cove-based profile designed for the floor-to-wall connections and inside wall corners. The HKW is available with two and three-way inside corners, outside corners, and end caps. Mortar is applied to the inside corner. HKW is pressed into place, making sure that the anchoring legs are fully embedded into the mortar. Schluter Dial-X EKE was chosen for the inside corner. It is installed in the same manner as HKW. Dial-X EKE is a corner movement profile made of rigid PVC and soft CPE that effectively absorbs movements at inside wall corners and floor wall transitions. The 3 16ths of an inch wide movement zone becomes the visible surface creating a uniform and discreet joint appearance. It features a tile pocket that hides the cut edge of the tiles, making tile installation faster and easier. A sealant-free installation is easily achieved by using Schluter Dial-X corner movement profiles, ensuring that this bathroom will remain attractive and maintenance-free for years to come. Here, Schluter Rondeck in bright white is used to finish and protect the outside corners of the knee wall. The reveal of the profile is uniformly rounded to give a symmetrical and elegant appearance to the tile edges. Using Schluter Rondeck, the designer's creativity is no longer held back by lack of ceramic trim pieces. Rondeck comes with matching inside and outside corner pieces for producing smooth and elegant corners. A spot of mortar is placed in the cavity of the profile to secure the corner pieces. After the wall tiles have been installed, the shower floor tiles are set. The step in the bonding flange is filled with mortar. The height adjustment collar is placed inside the lateral adjustment collar.
and the stainless steel grate is snapped into place. The assembly is pressed into the mortar. The adjustable grate assembly simplifies tile layout and reduces the amount of cutting around the grate. The edges of the tile around the grate are back buttered to ensure full support of the tile and to lock the grate assembly permanently into place. The height adjustment collar accommodates tile thickness ranging from one quarter to one and one quarter inches in thickness. The grate is pressed flush with the tile surface. The remaining tiles are set. And the floor is grouted. The final result a fully waterproof shower installation that is beautiful and maintenance free. We hope you've enjoyed watching this Schluter Systems shower assembly installation video. The Schluter Systems shower assembly eliminates the risk of vapor and water penetration, is maintenance free and dramatically reduces total installation time. The Schluter shower system ensures success and makes shower installation easier than ever. The Schluter Systems offers full technical support simply by dialing the toll-free 800 telephone number on the back of your video cover. And visit our comprehensive website for detailed information on the entire Schluter Systems product line at schluter.com.